Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So it's Saturday morning and I just got home from a, a terrible, terrible uh, tornado warning. The missus was here all by herself and she was very frantic. I was out of town working. So now we're, like I said, we're the following day. We're going to go and check out if any damage has happened to the property and if the animals are okay. She left the feed bucket inside and it tipped over. These bad boys are getting pretty big. Get back. Let's get y'all some feed. This will give us a good idea of what on a property is very low <laughs> these geese and uh kind of see where all the low spots are how are y'all doing these are american breasts look at that fine looking rooster right there uh, these are going to be a part of our extended flock and all the defective, I wouldn't say defective, all the uh, bird with some type of issues will be going to freezer camp. We'll get y'all some feed. Got an egg. Got to clean this up. Need to put something in there like a divider that you can move up and down. So after four, about 4 p.m. we can uh, shut it so that way they don't get inside of there. Uh, in the evening and they be nesting and roosting up in there to sleep and then just be pooping so that's probably one of the projects i'm going to be doing this weekend uh see some damage over at the high tunnel let's go take a look i guess while i'm walking over to the high tunnel I'll tell you all that we're the missus told me that we've been out of power uh since 4 p.m friday evening and that's going to be a concern because we got to figure out a way to get a generator. We got to search for a generator to get connected to our second panel that's in the uh, shop area. So that way we can get uh, power to our meat because we just processed 30 uh, birds and it was roughly about four and a half pounds per bird. And definitely don't want to lose that this early in the game. This side, all it looks like is just, just poles, just 
bent in just need to lower it down let's go ahead and lower it down well actually we we're going it the wrong way there we go oh didn't it stop oh the screw fell off all right gotta get a screw let's take a look at here we got the door open and yes we'll be putting a i'm gonna finish up that video here soon about this look like this one just came came undone some of it so we're gonna have to re-secure that to the plastic so far no damage that i can see Nope, none. All right, that looks good. All right, so now <laughs> let's go release the geese. <laughs> They've been crying out to us. My hand cold. Oh, we got some eggs. Cool. Oh, I don't know why they do that. Should have brought the egg basket. Oh. Come on, no egg omelets. No pocket omelets. No pocket omelets. No pocket omelets. Ooh, that's a big joker right here. Another double yoker? Or maybe a... Huh. See if we can have that for breakfast. Even though we don't have any power, we're still able to cook because we're on propane. And that was one of the uh, plus things that the Mrs. Nicky Gardner wanted to have, make sure that we have with uh, propane. So that way if the power ever do happen to go out, we're still able to cook. Let's check on the other bird. Look like some of the fence is knocked down. As you can see right there, it's just so saturated that the spikes can't hold, especially like this. <laughs> so that's an easy fix. Oh, one of the tops for that fell off. Ah, I hear you, Michael. Michael, you're so loud. <laughs> These are the holes that we had for our trees. I'm trying to get a uh, trying to get a skidster or something to refill all of these and Jen just. Uh, level everything out here goes another one that we're gonna have to readjust here I'll come back out here with some gloves my hands is cold look at that that was another hole I knew if we ever got some rain they would love <laughs> they would love this area <laughs> y'all good in here y'all okay Okay. They're up here trying to mate with Quagmire. He not having it. Getting a lot of mushrooms. Let's see if y'all can see. Not sure what type of mushroom those are. Now we're in the back 40. Looks like this air is very low i mean even look at that air right there it's low let's go take a walk through there
to kind of give you an idea how low this water is or high I guess you can say is this is my boots from Hysia if y'all don't know about Hysia great boot I believe they have a lifetime warranty this is the perfect time of year where we normally wear our Hysia boots because it's great uh, during these weather conditions especially wet wet conditions and cold conditions keep your feet dry and protect it from the cold Ooh, this place looks real real bad so these areas right here is where we previously had our flock at glad we moved them just in time so over there but look how wet. it's almost like another pond let's see if we could test out the these hacia boots so goose mother goose and the pointed sister flock together i guess they're called i forgot what they're called for geese if anybody know comment down below but this area is just massive Look at him watching. <laughs> you ain't doing nothing. All right. <laughs> so, I mean, look how deep that is. Don't feel any wetness in my boot. But it is very deep. So we definitely want to get this area leveled out. I oh, got another area of wetness of deep water. So this is, it looks like another area that we're going to have to add some fill to and level out. I wonder. Huh. Hey, get back over there. They're here searching for a crawfish through our pond and they'll fight over crawfish and then have a hard time eating it. Looks kind of low right here too. So the missus came and ran them off. One of them had a crawfish. So that right there, let's see, we definitely need to level out. So one thing we could possibly do, looking at it now, I guess this was like an overflow area, but the overflow area looked like it's holding more water than trying to keep the water inside. So it might be better just to trench that down more, get a little valley or swell going through here so that way all of this water will be able to reroute and go back into the pond. How was it last night? Uh, it was crazy. Like, I felt this place shaking. I was in the closet and like, the lights went out. Like, it was shaking. So this area has been the thorn in our side. It just gets, it's very clayish and doesn't drain very well we might have to put a french drain somewhere in the middle here and going out uh to the area over there out to the front these are cinder blocks and it actually got up to there and these cinder blocks are eight eight by eight by 16 so it got pretty deep up here let me check on these, see if everybody got hit. Yep, they need to get some feed. This one's pretty good. This one is chewy. She doesn't eat as much, but she will like to chew on stuff. Oh, this one, she got way too much food. So we'll let that stay. She got way too much food. And he'll need some food. Oh man, you were, scared the poop out of you. This wasn't last night, huh? 
you got some hay uh yeah we'll put some feet you need some hay you need some hay you need some hay so the males the bucks they really don't eat that much hay but they will eat the mess out of some pellets as you can see so with this overhang it definitely has been keeping the food a lot drier during the rain season got you some hay girl and they just love this ain't that right oh you just so cute oh you're so cool oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't mean to there is that badger oh what's wrong with your nose oh you got poop on your nose why oh, you got poop on your nose and we got some hardware cloth on top of here got them as protected as best as i could from any type of predators where you going girl you know you ain't supposed to be this close Hey, do we? Ooh, are you trying to breed, boy? So next month, or actually this month, we're gonna be breeding these. So we're gonna try to breed Peter Rabbit with Chewy, or maybe even another girl. Oh, look at her! She didn't chew her thing off. We're gonna get you a metal metal bin. How's your bin? Yeah, let's get y'all some metal bins while we're out. And then we're gonna uh, be breeding uh, John Coffee over here with this young lady. I'm not sure, don't have a name for her. And we definitely don't have a name for her. Only three out of five have the names. Oh man. All right. So we gotta figure out something. Get you, get y'all some metal bins. I think that'd be a lot better because y'all like to chew. I mean, she can't call you Chewy. They're very shy. We didn't handle them as much like she does Peter Rabbit. So I try to, every time I come and feed them, I try to give them some nice comforting touches and stuff. All right, so I just checked the garden and just check everything that's out in the uh, freezer. Everything is still uh, frozen. Luckily, we have a freezer uh, that we purchased a while back that if the power goes out, that it will keep cold for at least three days. And the missus just reminded me that uh, we did put the chicken that we butchered in that uh in that freezer so we're good we're gonna try to head off to downtown right now to see if we can uh get a generator say hey meow oh were you scared were you scared last night huh oh oh you're such a little pooty face such a pooty face. Since we can't use our Keurig, we have, what is, this is called a pour over? Yeah, <clears throat> pour over coffee. I have, we have a propane oven, so I just use the lighter to light it. And so, I'll just, I guess, pour it over. Mm -hmm. 